<laughs> there are an area of peels that are used very extensively today, and that's the alpha hydroxy acid peels or the salicylic acid peels, the mild peels, such as glycolic acid, lactic acid, even pyruvic acid, these other peeling agents that are used to kind of rejuvenate the skin. I think peel is not really the right name for them. It's a misnomer because these peels are really treatments. Nothing peels away. The skin just becomes pink, a little bit red afterwards. And you know these are treatments where you have, for example, glycolic acid applied at 30, 50, or 70 percent. Leave it on the skin, it kind of tingles, and then it's neutralized with uh, sodium bicarbonate, with a base. And so when you neutralize the peel, you see, you know, it's, it's rare. When you think back, am I ever gonna use that chemistry I learned in organic chemistry? But indeed we do. When you mix an organic acid and organic base like sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, you get bubbles. And what's nice about that, when the bubbles stop, the peel is neutralized and you're ready to go. Some cautionary statements about these peels, even though they're really mild, Tell the person that's peeling you if you're on something like Retin-A or using glycolic acid creams because it can make the peels a little bit more strong or sensitive. Second thing is, if you come in for a glycolic peel and you're wearing a hat, don't put the hat on right after the peel. If there's any peel that's left on your skin, that can cover it or occlude it and make it stronger in that area. 